if you ever wanted to put your mug on a mug, well in this case I did the shop logo. I want to demonstrate this little mug press. It's fully automatic. It's made by Vivor and it's really slick. We're going to go into it coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the loft above the shop. A little bit different location, but still up in the loft. This is where my big heat press normally sits. I moved it so I could demonstrate this really slick little mug press made by Vivor. And it's fully automatic. It doesn't get much simpler than this. It does both 11 ounce and 15 ounce mugs. And it, you can get it in different colors if you like. So I'm going to show you how well this thing actually works. Um, I was really impressed with it. Uh, it was provided to me by Vivor to demonstrate, which I'm doing here. But any opinions I have or any little quirks about it, it's my opinions. Your mileage may vary, of course, but um, I've played with this a little bit already, and obviously I've made some mugs. We're going to do another one here as a demonstration in just a minute. So what does it come with? Well, you get the mug press here. comes with a cord, little instruction pamphlet here and it's really simple and what's neat about it is it's preset for doing these you don't need to fool with times and temperatures you can change that there are it is adjustable you can change the heat and time settings if you like but just right out of the box it works and I've done uh, both 11 ounce and 15 ounce mugs I'm going to do another 11 ounce one here in a minute show you how I get this set up and how it works so what are you going to need to get set up here? Well, obviously you're going to need a uh, mug that's coated for sublimation. I've got one right here. This is already pre-coated. Try not to handle the coating with your fingers because you could put oil on there or a little bit of dirt or something. It may spoil your graphic. You will need to have a graphic printed. I have one printed here. And of course, one of the first questions I'm going to get is how did you lay that out? Well, it just so happens on an 11 ounce mug, that eight and a half inch wide paper, it's perfect to go all the way around it. Just space your graphics accordingly to how you want them to appear on the mug. Uh, if you, here I have two of the same picture and they are mirrored. And this is sublimation ink on sublimation paper. You can't use just regular inkjet ink because this won't work. It has to be sublimation ink. It has to be made for this. Don't forget to mirror this. And don't make a mistake I made on one I was doing uh, for someone. I put the graphic on upside down. Yeah, that sits over and I use it for washing paint brushes now. I couldn't. <laughs> that was a kind of a dumb mistake. So how do you do this now? Well, you're going to need some heat tape to uh, hold the graphic in place. And the way I do it on these that are evenly spaced. So I take my mug and I place it into the center. Get my thing square there. Just bring the two sides up. Ensure that it is square all the way around so the graphic doesn't come out crooked. Evenly spaced top and bottom and side to side. piece of heat tape there. A little piece there. That's all you need. You don't need to get crazy with it. So, how does this work then? Well, we got that all prepped. This is nice and light too. Uh, when you first turn it on, um, the light on the top here will be orange while it heats up. And then once it's heated up, it'll turn green. Now all you need to do and I'm going to try to do this from the back. You just set your mug in there. This will automatically close. It will automatically heat. And when it's done heating for the allotted time, it's about 180 seconds, it will open up. And we'll let it heat. We'll come back when it's done. And while this is heating and doing its thing, I'm going to bring up a couple other little points. You'll notice that the first light just seems like it blinks and blinks and blinks and blinks. It takes forever. Once it gets everything warmed up, this will progress across fairly quickly. Something else you're going to need are heat-proof gloves. 
that mug comes out, it is blazing hot. You do not want to touch it with your bare hands. You will get burned. So we'll let this continue to heat. I also use a little weeding tool with my other gloved hand to uh, pop the, the paper off. And you'll see how I do that here. Last light's flashing. As soon as that stuff's flashing, this will automatically open. And there it goes. And this is where I take my little weeding tool and just pop underneath the tape. There we go. Just like that. And I'll set this on my heat pad here to cool. Get a little piece of tape, but I can get that off of there later. So it's just that easy. And you can go, you could batch run things, and you could go one right after the other with this. Uh, so, yeah, what do I think of it? I love it. And it's a big time saver. It's a lot less fooling around than using the, uh, the other mug press. That and that mug press only does 11 ounce. I, I do have another one that it's an 8 in 1 press that but you still got to fiddle around changing things and timing it manually and all that kind of thing so this is great okay any downsides to it if you're really into detail like uh, you want to know exactly what the temperature is you want to know exactly what the time is well you're not really going to know here uh, the settings it gives you you can change these fairly easily uh, so I don't tell you wrong here, I'm going to look at this again. So if you wanted to change the temperature, you would turn this off. You would hold the power button down for six seconds, and the light would turn orange. And you can then set your level up, and it'll light up these little lights here. It's By default, it's on level three. And then you would turn it back off. And to set the time, if you wanted to change the time to make it longer or shorter, you would hold that down for 10 seconds. And right now it's set and dead center in position 3, but you could ra raise it up or you could lower it down by clicking on the button. And then you let it wait for 5 seconds for it to save the setting. Then it automatically exit the setting mode. And it, the same with the temperature too, it automatically exit the setting mode. Okay, if you're using this and you forget to turn it off, it'll shut itself off after 30 minutes of no activity. So that's a good little safety feature on it. Uh, the housing of this, and I've used this for a few mugs now, is not, it's warm. It's not hot. I mean, you can easily put your hands on it. Uh, I wouldn't put your paw in there, though. You're going to get burned. So that's my review of this Vivor Easy Mug Press Machine. I mean, it, it makes it so easy to do this. It, it makes it very, very simple. You don't have to fool around with timing and settings and all that and trying to remember to get in there and get it off. And It automatically closes, automatically opens. It's got the right pressure. It's got the right time. It's got the right temperature. Right out of the box. Doesn't get any easier than that. And yeah, I'm kind of hyping this up. Even though it was provided to me uh, to demonstrate, I do like this and it's going to get some use. So if you'd like to get one, there'll be a link in the description. And of course, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so if you do purchase one, I will get a small commission on that, which helps pay for all the things around here, keeping the lights on and all that. But it won't increase your cost. So if you got anything out of this, a little demo of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.